Hello. This week, Highway takes us to the very beginnings of Britain, to Colchester, to the oldest recorded town in the kingdom. As you can imagine, it seems to have changed in 3,000 years. As a garrison town, it's seen quite a few bands. If I'm not mistaken, that's one coming now. Scottish pipes and drums marching in full splendor down an East Anglian high street. That's a sight not to be missed, and it takes a bit of explaining. You see, every so often, a new regiment is posted to the Colchester barracks, which are barely a mile from the town hall. Infantry regiments come here to brush up their training, and when they arrive, they're allowed to march down the high street and present their colors to the mayor. That's what they're doing now. Not bad, are they? The band of the King's own Scottish borderers, just back from Oswego. love a band, and judging by the crowds in the street, there aren't many people who can walk away from a stirring sound like this. That's the Brigadier standing next to the Mayor, and I'll bet he's a proud man at this moment. The luckiest ones are the young ones. They still have life ahead of them, and they can dream today of changing the world. And 162 feet up, on the very top of the town hall, stands a lady who, according to legend, did help to change the world. St. Helena was the daughter of old King Cole, the one in the nursery rhyme, and she married the Roman general who conquered Colchester. They had a son called Constantine, who became one of the great Roman emperors, and it was he who made Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire. That's why she's a patron saint of Colchester. Any town as old as this is full of legend, and every good story has its hero, or heroine. In Colchester, the greatest heroine of them all must be Boadicea, who, unlike St. Helena, ousted the Romans in a fight that is still talked about today.